Good day everybody, my name is Alexander and in today's tutorial I'll be talking about how to create dotted or dashed lines in uh, Adobe Photoshop. Um, Photoshop is a bit more difficult than than using Adobe Illustrator to create the dotted or dashed lines. However, there are two good methods in Photoshop that I know of. Now, the first method is using the brush, the brush tool. So if you don't remember, the brush tool is on the left hand side around this area. So you click the brush tool, open up the brush panel on the top right here, make sure you're on basic brushes, or you could use any other brush actually, but basic brush is easier. And I click on a hard edge brush, so any of these brushes will work. So it's 36, actually any size uh, brush, but anyways, the purpose for this tutorial is use that. Um, so after that you click on the brush panel right here, go to brush tip shape and down here you see option with spacing. If it's not checked, check it. If it's checked, don't check, uncheck it. Now increase the spacing from 25% to 180, 190. Actually, at this point it doesn't really matter, it depends on your preference. Once done, close this down and hold down shift and there you go it gives you dotted lines that's pretty cool eh? now the second option I was talking about the second method is with the shape tools so any of the shape tools right in this panel rectangle, rounded, ellipse, polygon, line or custom shape tool will work um, I'm going to use the rectangle so you create a rectangle on the screen right here and as long as this button is highlighted, you have these options on the top. So it's similar to Adobe Illustrator. So you have the fill, the stroke, um, make the stroke black, uh, increase the width. And now right here, stroke options. Dash, dot it, change the alignment. That's pretty cool how the caps work. Oops, that one doesn't. You see, you got squares, circles, and then different options for your dash and gap, dash, gap. So let's put four right there. So it's pretty interesting. So you could have like three different types of dashes in one line. So that's useful, similar to Adobe Illustrator. Now, those are the two different methods um, in Adobe Photoshop. There is perhaps other methods that you could use. However, these are the two easiest ones. Now, that's the end of this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.